this is what my kids are subjecting me to. Girls. What's this? Say hello. What's this, Mom? What's this? Put it back, please. That is for when you go on holiday. So it is now about one o'clock and we've come to St. Bruce to get them some sandwiches and then we are off to the cemetery to put some flowers on Mum's grave, which my son is squashing with his croissant. Um, I haven't had any products yet today. I will have them when I go home later. Um, yeah, so far day six. I've got to resist all that first. Hi guys. Yes. It, they always say mum and then don't answer me. It's like, why? Uh, we've just got to cemetery and these smell so nice. Not the kids, the food. <laughs> Is it yummy? Yeah. Right, leave that one and eat this one, please. Can you hold it? Yeah, keep it there on the bench next to you. Just keep it there and you can eat it in a bit bit. Eat that one first. Um, this one's got cheese. Is it nice? Yeah. <laughs> There's loads of goodies in that bag. Um, I forgot to bring my bar with me, stupidly. Oh, so, just have to be hungry and have water, really. Um, thought I'd show you mum's grave. It's a bit of a mess I tidy it up, but it's been raining, so it's all wet. But it was her 60th birthday on the 28th. Um, and I had these flowers made for her and a little birthday cake for her from the kids. Um, I actually thought these flowers would be dead by now, but they've actually held out pretty well, considering we've had the rain and the snow and everything. Um, we had a little plaque made for Mum in memory of her there. So I'm going to get rid of some of these bits now, tidy up a little bit, sort out these flowers, get rid of all the dead ones, get rid of these dead roses. Yeah, just uh, tidy up a little bit. We uh, bought new flowers to put down because um, I thought the old ones would be dead, but they're not. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with all these flowers now. I'm going to have more flowers than we know what to do with. Um, yeah, anyway, it's quiet. It's very peaceful here. That's the, that's the moody one. <laughs> right. Uh, I yeah. I'm gonna go and tidy up, and then I'll probably have my first bar when I go home because I'm hungry now. All these sandwiches smell really nice. It's like oh. Uh, yeah. So far, doing well. It is half past one now. So. Oh, I don't know. We'll burn some calories and do some tidying up. And I'll speak to you all in a bit. Hi everyone. So we're back from the cemetery. Uh, I am frozen. And I was going to make my mac and cheese, but I just can't be asked. So yeah, how it is, eh? Decided to play some cod with Annie. And I am going to have some caramel bites. Um, usually I actually have my fava beans about now, but I'm going to save them for a bit later. Uh, I'm really cold. I've had a coffee to try and warm up, um, but that's not really working. I'm sat next to uh, my son who is scoffing his face with a cheese and ham sandwich. It's hard work, isn't it? Not being allowed to eat. What do you want? No, daddy ate your sandwich. Say hello. Hello. Um, right, in your bag. nothing is in my bag. Leave it alone, please. Right, I'm gonna go because she's gonna pull all my stuff out. I'll see you all later. Bye, -bye. So it is now five o'clock. Uh, wait for Lily. And I've decided to do my macaroni cheese because I'm making my dinner and your dinner. The kids are all having junk again. Nuggets, spaghetti and chips um so i'm gonna do my spaghetti because 
if I don't, one minute. If I don't do it now, I'm gonna wanna eat that. So, I'm gonna make my spag, not spaghetti, my macaroni. Um, and I'm gonna have that while they have their food. Move, please. And then I've still got my step up meal and my bar to have a bit later on. So, what are you making, Mum? I'm making your food. What Leave it to us, mummies. What um, in here, Mum? What in here? What in here, Mum? What in here? Make some chips because it's quick and simple with that. Mum, what in here, Mum? It's mummy's pasta. But yeah, so second product today. Uh, obviously, we went to the cemetery earlier, came home, and we're going to do some dinner. Yeah, it's stuck on there. So, that's it really. Pretty boring, not much going on. We need to put it in the box. Well, I don't know where the box is. Um, it's down the stairs. Not much going on really, that's it. Um, I'm bored and I don't know what to do myself so I'm watching as many motivational videos as I can at the Let moment. Let me see mum. Let me on see. Instagram and um, YouTube because right now I want to fall off plan. No, I don't want to fall off plan, but I'm heading in that direction because I want to eat, I want food, I want normal food. I'm sick and tired of eating the same thing over and over and over and over again. Mum! But my clothes are starting yeah. to feel looser. And I know I just got to stick to it. Way day Monday, if I eat shit now, I'm going to feel like shit on Monday, aren't I? When I stand on that scales and I'm not in the nines. So I've got to suck it up and deal with it. Um, I think... My belly's going down. Your belly is big, Mum. My belly's big. And your baby, you got the baby, Mum. I definitely don't have a baby in there. Uh, yeah, not really much to report, guys. It's very quiet, very boring. What to do with myself to stop myself from thinking about food? Help me out. What do you all do when you want to eat? Um, let me know because I'm crying. I really want food. Don't want food Hi, everybody. So, guess what? I went and ate a chicken nugget. I'm so pissed off with myself. Like, I don't know, I just, I can't, just, I can't even explain how annoyed I am with me. I was clearing up the kids' plates and stuff and they've been driving me mad. Lily threw a whole plate of food on the floor and spaghetti and everything everywhere. I'm tired, I'm drained. Just, I don't know, just, and now I just that one nugget was left on the plate it was just sat there and before I knew it I'd eaten it put it in my mouth and it was gone I don't know I'm not eating anything else today now um, that one chicken nugget probably counts towards like a thousand calories or something stupid I don't even know I'm just so tired and I think being on my own all day well not all day being on my own all the time because again I'm sat here alone there's nobody here I've just put the girls to bed I'm tired it's miserable outside it's raining um it's been a long day we went to see mum today went to mum's grave um, I thought I would have tired the kids out. Well, it did tire the kids out, but then in turn, 
that made them really really grumpy and miserable and tired and that's then had a knock on effect because I'm tired and grumpy and miserable and I'm even more miserable now that I've eaten this chicken nugget why do we do it why can we not just say no and just not do it I don't understand it I don't get what is wrong in our heads that makes us think that that chicken nugget is going to make us feel better or that bit of cake or that sandwich or whatever why we think in that moment that eating that thing is going to make us feel good because it doesn't it makes us feel shit and i know it would i knew it would because i even said it would when i was cooking it for them oh, i don't know Anyway, thought I'd let you know. Um, so yeah, day six and I failed miserably because I ate a nugget. So I'm going to go make a coffee now and I'm not going to have anything else to eat today because of that. Um, I guess I'll speak to you all tomorrow. Bye guys. So... Sorry, I've had a little chat with myself and just because I ate one nugget doesn't mean that I need to eat the entire kitchen. Although I could quite happily do that now. Because <sighs> this is how I feel today. Right. Just really fed up. Got my coffee. Um, so I'm looking for some series to watch on Netflix because I need to do something to keep myself occupied. I was watching Snowpiercer, I watched all of Handmaid's Tale, and now I've found something called The Rain. So I'm gonna watch that and see how that is. Um, but, sorry, I'm pulling my trousers up because I keep falling down. Um, before I watch this, I got this in the post today. So, let me pause this bloody thing. Uh, let me try and stand you up. Here. I can show you what it is. So. I feel like I'm not going to like this. But I thought I'd do a live taste test for you guys. It looks really stodgy from all the pictures I've seen. So Technically, this would be my third product if I eat all this, because I've only had two today. Oh, it smells like porridge. It feels quite sticky in this. Oh, it is very sticky. So, there you go. As you can see, it's very shiny. I'm guessing that is yogurt. Um, let's see, what does it say? Uh, apple and mixed spice flavoured soya and milk protein bar covered in yogurt flavoured coating. There you go. And there is 204 calories in that bar. So, it is very squidgy, like, let's see what it's like. Mm. 
Wow. I've got a cut under the roof of my mouth and it's making it sore. That's weird. Okay, it's not chewy at all. Considering it looks like it would be chewy. I don't know if that's going to focus on that. I mean, from that shiny texture. It's more like biscuity. It's like the base of a cheesecake biscuit. It's actually quite nice. It's very sweet. But that's really good. I actually really like this. I like it because it's not bitty like the lemon and the strawberry and apple um, bars and it's not chewy like the chewy bars it is just like biscuit it is like the base of a cheesecake apple flavor No bits. It's smooth. I reckon that'd be really nice if you cut that in half. Made a vanilla shake into a mousse. Put that at the bottom. Put the mousse on top and ate it like a cheesecake. Oh my god. I might have to try that one day. This is really good. I'm going to end up eating all this. It's just so... It's not going to focus on it. It's just really nice. I'm liking this one, guys. Thumbs up from me. Anyway, I'm going to eat this. Drink my coffee. And, um... That'll probably be me. I won't come on again today, because... It's nine o'clock now. And I'm going to watch this. And then go to bed. So, yeah. Day six was... A bit of a disaster but day seven i'm gonna smash it speak to her tomorrow bye